Hello everyone, welcome to the training of DeedGus Software Learning. This time, we will learn the function of Description Pointer Overlay Display. And here's a demo video. How do we realize the pointer display function like this? I will talk about it from three parts, software setting, 22.bin file, and practical demonstration. To start with the software setting, we need to open the T5LDGUS2 application development guide and then turn to the system variables interface section. I have taken a screenshot of the message and it shows address 00D8 to control the description pointer. Then address 00D8 will be used as VP address. Secondly, we have to master DGUS about the pointer display of some control parameter settings. Here are some parameters for the touch control, synchro data return. This is used to set the coordinate position, width, and length of the touch area. This is the page switch button, you can switch to the page you set. Today we're going to use the first press button. Mode 01, when the key is pressed for the first time, the data of VP1S is sent to VP1T. This is used to set the VP address. VP1S acts as a temporary repository for our data. Here we set it to 1000 because the variable addresses available to the user range from 1000 to FFFF. VP1T is the actual data address. We'll learn about pointer display today, so set it to 00D8. Then the data of VP1S is sent to VP1T. This is the data length setting, and the instruction I'll cover is 8 bytes. So I'm going to set it to 8. This is the background image I used for this time, and I've divided it into 12 small pieces. Each section needs to set parameters for synchro data return. They also select the first press mode, but the VP1S address of each part is different. Here I have listed the specific parameters of each part. Perform the following steps to set parameters in the 22.bin file. This is the 8-byte instruction I just mentioned. 5a enables the pointer display function. 30 is the hexadecimal number of 48, representing the 48 icon file. 0000, 000, 000 represents the icon number in the icon folder. I named this icon 00, which is 0000, 000, 000, 000 since it takes up 2 bytes. 00B9 and 006D represent the hexadecimal number of X and Y coordinates of the part to be displayed. For example, if I want the icon to appear here, the mouse shows that the X and Y coordinates of this place are 185 and 109, and the hexadecimal number 185 is B9. The hexadecimal number of 109 is 6D. So the instructions are 00B9 and 0060. In summary, this string of instructions means that I will use the 00 icon in the 48 folder, displayed in the corresponding X and Y positions. The following is the instruction setting of the 22.bin file. Because the 22 file is in bytes and the variable address is in the unit of word length, the address in the 22 file is twice the variable address. We need to write the address 1000 as 2000. Then write out our instructions at the corresponding address in the 22.bin file. The 12 instructions for the 12 sections are shown here. Now please follow me to make it. First, click New. And set the resolution to match that of your screen. Then set the file path and click OK. Click the plus sign and select the background image. The image needs to be named from 00, 00 onwards. Next we need to generate the ICL file. 
we need to generate 32 ICL background image and 48 ICL icon files. Click Welcome, then click Dwin ICL Generator. Select Directory, then select the background image. Finally click Generate ICL. Save the file in the Dwin Set folder and name the file 32. Select the directory, then click on the 48 folder. Click on Generate ICL. Select the Dwin Set folder and name it 48. Next select Synchro Data Return in the Touch Control. Box select the first section and then set the parameters. We choose to switch the page to page 01. And set the mode to 01. Enter 1000 for VP1S. Enter 00D8 for VP1T. This indicates that the data of VP1S is sent to VP1T. The data length is 8 bytes. The parameter settings for the 12 sections are similar. Next, make 11 copies of the control and then just change the page switching and corresponding address. I won't repeat them because of the repetition of the parameters. I have tabulated the parameters of each section for your reference. Then copy all the controls onto the background images. Finally, generate the project and click Save. Then we fill in the 22.bin file. First go to address 2000 and write serial port instruction 5 a 30 0 0 0 0 0 0 b 9 0 0 6 d indicating that I will use the 0 0 icon under folder 48 displayed on the corresponding x and y axis. Then go to address 2010 twice 1008. And write serial port instruction 5A30000001D8007A. 30 and so on. For the sake of redundancy, I'll just copy the serial port instructions that follow. Save the 22.bin file. Then copy the Dwin set folder into the SD card for burning and we can get the pointer display project. Next, insert the SD card into the slot and power up the screen. Burn the project to the screen. Blue screen showing end indicates that burning is complete. Then power off Remove the SD card. And power on again. Now click on each section in turn, and you can see the pointer icons move together. Thanks for watching.